what's up everyone and happy new year i am so excited to share with you today in this virtual space my prayer is that you are well and that your families are well a huge shout out to pastor johnson and lady johnson pastor i thank you for this opportunity to be a part of youth church so one of my favorite scriptures is jeremiah 29 11 and it states for i know the plans that i have for you declares the lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future so here's a quick story about jeremiah and how this scripture can push us to so many new opportunities jeremiah was about 17 years old when god called him he was not given an easy task at all and although he didn't immediately follow the plan of god every opportunity that presented itself led him to the purpose jeremiah did naturally like all of us obey god's word and shared the message of judgment to the people even though it wasn't accepted or welcomed life can be so tough but god promises that we can trust his methods his plans and his will how many of us had plans for 2020 and then got thrown off because of covid 19. plans to be back in school with our friends family vacations summers jobs and a summer full of fun and just like that everything closed no traveling which means no vacations no summer fun because everything was shut down and then no physical school so here we are on zoom every day i had plans too of where i wanted to take the twins for their first vacation how i wanted to decorate my classroom when we first got back so when i read this scripture i wondered how in the world is god's plan prospering when we can't go anywhere we can't do anything and no one seems to have an answer for COVID-19. Pretty much, we were cut off from outside. Then I kept thinking, how dope is it though that God is still making things happen? Even if it seems a little slow, that in so many ways we grew last year, we got closer to family members, siblings, to friends over FaceTime and video chats. We learned how to cook. We passed some classes that we were struggling with, started a journal. I even downloaded TikTok. All of these things can help us in the end. When the new opportunities meet the new beginnings and it lines up with God's plan, I'm sure we know because the scripture states it, that he'll prosper it. So start a journal read an extra book, learn a different language, find some new sports, pick up some new hobbies. All of these things will help you in the end. Never forget that new opportunities begin with you. New beginnings, a new year, we are moving forward, using what we've learned and accomplishing more. God does have plans for us great plans for us he said it in his word that he's giving us hope so hope that we'll see life after COVID-19 a future that's the promise that we will see life after COVID-19 use your time choose new beginnings choose new opportunities set yourself up for the promises of God let us pray. God, thank you for allowing us to see a new day. Thank you for allowing us to see a new year. Forgive us, God, of our sin, of our sins, the things we think, say, and even the things that we do. God, we thank you for everything, and we will forever give you honor and praise for allowing us to see new beginnings and to see new opportunities. Thank you for the plans you promised to prosper. We pray this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. I love you all. I miss you all so, so, so much. Remember that even though it doesn't look good right now, 
everything is going to work out for our good. Have an amazing Sunday. Peace.